Dear Denny, I truly believe that people come into my life for a reason, and you are no different. I don't know if you will ever know how important you were or how much your love and friendship meant to me. Even though we weren't blood related, you were my family. While making tamales together, sharing family meals, and even hearing about your beloved mixing fork that you searched all over for, I learned many lessons from you. Although it was unintentional, the most important lesson you taught me was how to love. I was lucky enough to see firsthand what true love and companionship was. You and Donna had a love that was unlike anything I had ever seen before. You didn't need to be overly affectionate, but somehow I always knew that your love was deep and honest. Simple touches on her shoulder, loving glances over the dinner table, and hearing you say the name Donnie was your way of showing how much you loved and adored her. I even gave what you had a name, the Denny and Donna love. I wanted that simple yet profound love in my life, and I wouldn't settle for anything less. In July of 2010, I finally found him. Eric came into my life when I doubted true love the most. You probably sent him to me to remind me that it still exists. On our first date, I slipped and he caught me. He leaned over and whispered to me, it's my job now, to catch you when you fall. I saw a glimmer of you in his eyes and I knew I had someone special. He asked me to marry him and although thank you was all I could muster, I was filled with joy and happiness. I wished you could have been there though. Even though you and I won't be dancing at my wedding like we always said we would, I know you will be smiling down on me and so happy that I finally found my Denny and Donna love. I will probably never understand why you were taken from my life so early, but I do know the reason why you were in my life. You showed me how to love and what true love really means. And for that, you will forever live in my heart. I love and miss you every day, Carrie.